person was reporting back to, to our command post that they were following these tracks and we we're encouraging them to continue to follow them. Um, it was about 10.30, we were about ready to do a press conference up here when we got notification that, um, that they may have found them. And uh, at that point in time, uh, there was a huge sigh of relief. And then we found out that they were A-OK. -okay. Uh, it was uh, just a, a, a huge relief on all of our parts. And, uh, and we're just so thankful and, um, and elated that, uh, that we, again, we were, they were found, they were found safe. And again, 1.4 miles away from their house, and this is rugged territory. This is, um, you know, extreme environment. And how they, you know, were out there for 44 hours is pretty amazing. But it shows the resilience of people that actually grow up in this community. Uh, these girls were, um, you know, have a, definitely a survival story to tell. So we're looking forward to hearing from them. So the information we gathered is that they were trained through 4-H, uh, through outdoor survival. And, uh, and we believe that that did pay a part, but we're only speculating right now. We'll, we'll wait to interview them and, and understand and start what the last 44 hours was like. We have so many of these kinds of efforts that end up in tears and tragedy. And today we can all shed tears of joy.